Welcome, dear viewers, to the glittering world of Bridgerton Season 3. In this sneak peek, we delve into the romantic intrigue, scandalous secrets, and captivating characters that await us in the next chapter. Fret not after that tumultuous Bridgerton Season 2 finale. Lady Whistledown will write again. Netflix announced way back on April 13, 2021, that it had already renewed the dazzling period romance for both a third and fourth season, just as the highly anticipated second season began filming in the UK Miss Featherington has been studying Mr. Bridgerton's eyes. What mysteries lie behind those smoldering gazes? Mark your calendars. Part 1 premieres on May 16th, followed by Part 2 on June 13th, exclusively on Netflix. So grab your tea, adjust your corsets, and let's unravel the drama together. Remember, dear viewers, gossip spreads faster than Lady Whistledown's pin. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video. When will Bridgerton Season 3 come out? Season 3 will finally land in 2024. Netflix announced in December 2023 that the eight-episode third chapter will drop in two parts, with the first four episodes premiering on May 16, 2024, and the next four on June 13. Who will this season focus on? Bridgerton Season 3 will focus on Penelope, aka Lady Whistledown, and Colin Bridgerton's romance, Coglin confirmed during the FYSE panel on May 2022, per Variety. In an official synopsis, Netflix revealed that Penelope Featherington has finally given up on her long-held crush on Colin Bridgerton after hearing his disparaging words about her last season. She has, however, decided it's time to take a husband, preferably one who will provide her with enough independence to continue her double life as Lady Whistledown, far away from her mother and sisters. But lacking in confidence, Penelope's attempts on the marriage mart fail spectacularly. Meanwhile, Colin has returned from his summer travels with a new look and a serious sense of swagger. But he's disheartened to realize that Penelope, the one person who always appreciated him as he was, is giving him the cold shoulder. Eager to win back her friendship, Colin offers to mentor Penelope in the ways of confidence to help her find a husband this season. But when his lessons start working a little too well, Colin must grapple with whether his feelings for Penelope are truly just friendly. Complicating matters for Penelope is her rift with Eloise, who has found a new friend in a very unlikely place, while Penelope's growing presence in the ton makes it all the more difficult to keep her Lady Whistledown alter ego a secret. This direction marks a departure from the Order of Quinn's books. In the written series, the next Bridgerton to get the lead treatment is Benedict, who takes center stage in an offer from a gentleman. The story pulls heavily from Cinderella lore. Benedict falls for one Sophie Beckett, an earl's daughter forced into servitude by her hateful stepmother. The Colin-focused book, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, is fourth in the lineup. Why will Colin and Penelope be the center of season three? Jess Brownell, who will succeed Chris Van Dusen as showrunner for season three, explained the change in chronology to variety. I really feel like it's Colin and Penelope's time. Because we've been watching both of these actors on our screens since season one, we've already invested in them a little bit. We know who they are as people, she said. I feel like, especially in the last season, there are these moments of tension between them where it's like, Colin walks up to the line of almost realizing that Penelope has feelings for him but doesn't quite get there. Instead of treading water on that dynamic, we wanted to push it into their season. It really felt like the perfect moment to tee it up. Coughlin already knew about the season 3 plan since two weeks into filming season 2, she told E. News, so I had a lot of time to adjust to it. The actress also joked about whether she's ready to film sex scenes. I'm gonna have to be. As for why it's taken as long as it has for the two friends to share their feelings, Newton said in an official Netflix clip that he thinks there's a lot going on where they can't really see what's right in front of them. What else will Season 3 be about? Apart from the romance at its focal point, Season 3 will certainly delve deeper into its juicy subplots as well. At the end of Season 2, Eloise had finally learned her best friend's identity as Lady Whistledown. Jesse promises the fallout is unlikely to dissipate anytime soon. She told ELLE.com, I think Eloise won't tell anyone, Penelope's secret. I think Eloise will continue to be a good mate and not tell anyone, because what does Eloise gain, really? I do think they'll make up, but I don't think it's going to happen quickly. Colin and Penelope are underdogs in many ways, Brownell said during a Bridgerton fan event on February 14th. She added, we get to see these characters step into their powers this year. She teased that the season will include classic rom-com tropes and a lot of awkward banter. This was actually the hardest book I've ever had to plot because they were so well-established, Julia Quinn said at the event. 
and that's why she wanted to see a friends to lovers story. Shonda Rhimes, meanwhile, teased, We do have some very interesting new characters. That includes a new suitor for Penelope, Lord Debling, played by Sam Phillips, who creates some tension between her and Colin. Who is in the cast? After Paige famously departed Bridgerton following his season one run, citing his completed arc and one season commitment to the series, many fans might be wondering if Bailey, Ashley, and other new favorites will return for the third season. Thankfully, Ashley confirmed a deadline that both she and Bailey plan to participate. We're going to be back. Kate and Anthony are just getting started, she told the outlet, adding, I'd like to see Kate just let go a bit more and play more in season three and kind of swim in that circle of love together. I think they both deserve it. In an interview with BAFTA on March 2nd, Bailey admitted that he won't be going anywhere anytime soon. I look forward to supporting the rest of the family and the stories that go forward because if there's one thing I know about beloved worlds, it's that you want to see them through, and people invest their love and their time. And it means so much to so many people, Bailey said. So yeah, me and Tony will be together for a while, Bailey added, referencing his character, Anthony Bridgerton. Other cast members who've yet to explore their own romances are expected to return as well, including Penelope, Eloise, Colin, Benedict, and more. In an interview with ELLE.com, Jessie revealed she has every intention to play Eloise, for as long as they'll let me. I'll happily be doing this way into my 40s, but expect plenty of newcomers as well. Hannah Dodd has been cast as Francesca Bridgerton for season 3, replacing actress Ruby Stokes, who exited to work on Netflix's upcoming Lockwood and Company series. Variety reported the news on May 12th, following the character's noticeable absence in the second season. I love Francesca, but we lost her midway through season 2, Chris Van Dusen previously told TV Line. After exhausting all other options, she unfortunately had to come out due to reasons beyond our control. Netflix also announced multiple other new additions to the season 3 cast. Daniel Francis will play Marcus Anderson, Sam Phillips will play Lord Debling, James Foon will play Harry Dankworth, and Hannah New will play Lady Tilly Arnold, a firebrand widow, per deadline. Who is in the cast? After Paige famously departed Bridgerton following his season 1 run, citing his completed arc and one season commitment to the series, many fans might wonder if Bailey, Ashley, and other new favorites will return for the third season. Thankfully, Ashley confirmed a deadline that both she and Bailey plan to participate. We're going to be back. Kate and Anthony are just getting started, she told the outlet, adding, I'd like to see Kate just let go a bit more and play more in season 3 and swim in that circle of love together. I think they both deserve it. In an interview with BAFTA on March 2nd, Bailey admitted that he won't go anywhere anytime soon. I look forward to supporting the rest of the family and the stories that go forward because if there's one thing I know about beloved worlds, it's that you want to see them through, and people invest their love and their time. And it means so much to so many people, Bailey said. So yeah, me and Tony will be together for a while, Bailey added, referencing his character, Anthony Bridgerton. Other cast members who've yet to explore their own romances are expected to return as well, including Penelope, Eloise, Colin, Benedict, and more. In an interview with ELLE.com, Jesse revealed she has every intention to play Eloise, for as long as they'll let me. I'll happily be doing this way into my 40s, but expect plenty of newcomers as well. Hannah Dodd has been cast as Francesca Bridgerton for season 3, replacing actress Ruby Stokes, who exited to work on Netflix's upcoming Lockwood and Company series. Variety reported the news on May 12th, following the character's noticeable absence in the second season. I love Francesca, but we lost her midway through season 2, Chris Van Dusen previously told TV Line. After exhausting all other options, she unfortunately had to come out due to reasons beyond our control. Netflix also announced multiple other new additions to the season 3 cast. Daniel Francis will play Marcus Anderson, Sam Phillips will play Lord Debling, James Foon will play Harry Dankworth, and Hannah New will play Lady Tilly Arnold, a firebrand widow, per deadline. Are there any trailers yet? Netflix shared a minute-long preview of the opening scene of Season 3 during a fan event on February 14th. The clip shows a tense moment between Penelope and Colin. He confronts her about not answering his letters and says he misses her. She confronts him about overhearing him at her mother's ball last season saying that he would never court her. It just never occurred to me that you of all people could be so cruel, she tells him before storming off. These two are starting off on a rough note. Can I see more photos of Season 3? The cast treated us to a behind-the-scenes sneak peek on July 20, 2022, confirming that production was officially underway in London. 
Bridgerton season 3 filming has officially begun, Coglin says in the quick montage, as Newton joins her in a carriage on set. Soon after, Ashley and Bailey shared a set photo of their hands interlocked. Both of them wrote, reunited, over their posts, with Bailey hashtagging the photo hashtag Canthony. Finally, during Netflix's annual Tutum event in 2023, the cast of season 3 shared that the first episode, written by Brownell and directed by Trisha Brock, would be titled, Out of the Shadows. Coglin then read the first few lines of what appears to be season 3's opening monologue. Dearest gentle reader, we've been apart for far too long. At last, London's smart set has made its return, and so, too, has this author. As the season begins, the question on everyone's minds is, of course, which newly minted debutante will shine the brightest. The crop this year appears to be rather dazzling indeed. Unfortunately, not every young lady can attract the light. Coglin and Newton later shared more BTS shots on Instagram, too. During the Tutum event in Brazil, Netflix shared the first photos of Penelope and Colin in Bridgerton Season 3. Coglin explained that the images show Penelope's new look and that this will be quite the scandalous season. Check out the photos below. What will Kate and Anthony's storyline be like? After sparking a hot and heavy romance in Season 2, Anthony's relationship will continue to develop in Season 3. We're filming a dance this week and tonally, it's so different, sweet, endearing and light, compared to the heaviness of their story last season, Ashley told British Vogue. The new episodes will delve into their honeymoon phase and Kate's adjustment to her new role as Viscountess. Even though she comes across as fierce, people like that are sometimes the softest on the inside, she told the magazine. They develop that skin because they're vulnerable. You see her insecurities and fears. She's F asterisk asterisk king nervous, and I think there's strength in admitting that. Ashley also told ELLE.com, I think you're going to see a much more softer side to Kate coming this season. And some of that softness will be evident in her and Anthony's marriage. She's going to be quite content with her husband, she added. Luckily, on March 20th, Netflix released a sneak peek of a sweet Canthony moment, so fans can get an idea of what is in store for the newlyweds in this new season. In the clip, Anthony is talking to his sister, Francesca, who steps away for some time alone. She simply needed a moment. As do I. I should like to use that moment to dance with my beautiful wife, he told his mother while gazing into Kate's eyes. He then takes her by the hand and leads her to the floor, where they begin to waltz. As one can see, life after marriage has not dimmed the flames that burned between these two in the slightest. The company wrote in the caption, How many episodes will there be? Netflix shared the titles next. 1. Out of the Shadows. 2. How Bright the Moon. 3. Forces of Nature. 4. Old Friends. 5. TikTok. 6. Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. 7. Joining of Hands. 8. Into the Light. Thank you, dear viewers, for joining us on this Regency roller coaster ride through Bridgerton Season 3. From Secret Trysts to Grand Balls, We've explored it all, but the drama doesn't end here. Remember to mark your calendars. Part 1 premieres on May 16th, followed by Part 2 on June 13th, exclusively on Netflix. If you've enjoyed our gossip-filled escapade, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more Bridgerton goodness. And as Lady Whistledown would say, the pin is mightier than the sword, and the quill is mightier than the dagger. Until next time, my fellow Bridgerton enthusiasts, may your tea be strong, your wits sharper, and your heart ever hopeful.